You know what time it is, folks. It's right. It's time for more Doc Real TV. And this is TV radio. So we're here on the air. I'm back. I like to say I'm back because, you know, we just like to be back in the saddle, the seat saddle. But today we're here to talk about WordPress versus Blogger. That's right. WordPress versus Blogger. Which one works best for you? Stay tuned because we'll be right back. Look at us up on Doc Real TV. All right, now we are back with WordPress versus Blogger. I didn't really go anywhere, if anybody wants to know. I just took a small step to the side and uh, let something else play in the middle. <laughs> uh, okay, so basically we're here today to take a look at the differences between WordPress versus Blogger and which one would be better for you? I know a lot of people out there use WordPress because we've dug in and we've gotten... We've gotten to a point where we've gotten used to making our own edits and having more control over the design and 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 the build of the actual website. You know, we can customize the backgrounds, we can customize modules, we can customize plugins, etc. On the other hand, some of us are like, "Hey, I just want to get out there and blog and blog and get my stuff out there. I just I, I don't know where to start, and I don't want the hassle of trying to figure out all these customizations." So. We're gonna st step into an article uh, read by Marco Sarek, and he talks about, um, or they talk about how blog, you know, they basically talk about the same thing. I'm talking about blogger versus WordPress. Which one is right for you? And this says, which one is best for you, blog? All right, so let's start with the brief about both of them. Like I was saying before, blogger, has fewer design and functionality features. It's it's kind of limited. Uh, it's kind of a bare bones blog, but it's easy to use, gets you up and running, and has connection to advertising capability. So you can really basically get started blogging right away, it's right out of the box. You know, um, then you got WordPress. WordPress is a little bit more technically savvy or technically. Uh, you, you have to have a little bit more of knowledge and know about or know your way around the web a little bit to understand a little bit of HTML, a little bit of PHP, and you can work around with the what you see is what you get editor. So that's the WYSIWYG editor that everybody uh, always asks me about. What does WYSIWYG mean? What you see is what you get. So WordPress requires a little bit more attention. It's considered a medium-based uh, when it comes to um, uh, skill level, medium base uh, curve to it, learning curve to it. So um, it's it gives you control, but it, oh, it says the, exactly what I was just going to say, medium base learning curve. And it's best for those who want to build a modern and feature rich blog. Now, to me, it's just basically saying WordPress is a content management system and, you know, it's takes a little bit more time for you to learn how to use it all right so that's what is is what i'm reading from mark's uh mr sarek's blog here and our mark marco sarek's blog here can't say mr because i'm not exactly sure uh how marco identifies so i don't want to disrespect marco that way so now let's keep going here um to tie this in a little bit deeper, and I think this is important that we tie this in a little bit deeper to the fact that um, we inherently want to either do one of two things. We personally either want to present content or we per per personally either want to structure out our website to do certain functions. And when you talk about a content management system, a content management system is all about functions. If you're just putting out content and you want to get content out there, well, bloggers probably a good start. And notice I said start. And and there and there's a couple of other reasons why. And I'm gonna go into that right now with this blogger versus WordPress comparison infographic. This is actually from Marco Sarek. And Marco says that, you know, in his infographic, it basically says, uh, what's the difference? And if, for those who don't know, I'm reading this from my um, iMac, which is sitting in front of me. Um, and I have the iPad with some other notes in front of me. And if, 
I know that people can see this on the screen, but uh, people listening in, you don't know where I'm getting this information from. I am online in front of my iMac reading it from the website. So you can go to Marco Sarek, that's M-A-R, K-O-S-A-R-I-C dot com and follow along with me. I'm going to jump through a couple of areas of this, but I just want to dig in to a couple of points here. So first, this infographic, which it says, uh, if you go down to the link, it says blogger versus WordPress comparison infographic number two. If you click that, it'll take you straight down to the blogger versus WordPress infographic. All right. Now, it says, blogger, you rent your site. Blogger owns it. I said that one more time. You rent your site, but Blogger owns it. All right. Except it is fully maintained and controlled by Blogger. You see what I'm saying? It's you might get the space, the area. It's like Facebook. You don't own Facebook. You rent the space on Facebook. And with Blogger, you rent free space on Blogger. All right. Now, WordPress is open source and you. It's your own wheelhouse. I mean, it's your own structure. You build it from the ground up. You buy the domain, you buy the hosting, you put your stuff on the website, or, or you put your um, software, open source software on the website, or what you can do is you can go to wordpress.com and use one of their WordPress hosting servers. And when you use one of their WordPress hosting servers, you're limited to some things you can do, but you still have overall major access to your your content to your website it's yours it's your domain it's your website it's your blog and so then what happens is is once you realize that okay i, I want to do one or the other and i usually recommend to people if you decide that you want to go ahead and start blogging then start Start thinking about what you would want to be using in the next five years. Do you want to start learning more about how to use your website? And even with WordPress, there are other ways to use your website that is less um, server management side or let, where you can use less of the back end. And I won't get into that into this episode because I want to test some of these hosts out. I want to test out what they're saying, see if what they're saying is it is right for you all in, in how they're advertising it first before I say, yeah, you can go and use that. So, but with, when it comes to blogger, when it comes to WordPress, what you can do is to compare it a little bit deeper. I think the best thing you want to do is you want to look at bloggers connection and WordPress's connection. Now it's not so much just the idea of how, blogger allows you to connect to it and allows your audience to connect to it or WordPress allows you to connect to it and allows your audience to connect to it. It's more per se in how it's connectivity functions for your needs to your clients and to your audience. And if you don't have an audience yet and you just want to start out and it's more of how long is blogger going to be around and how long is WordPress going to be around? So these are the things we're going to talk about next when we talk about connection and connectivity. Um, okay, first off, first area we're going to talk about is domain. And I'm still on the infographic on MarcoSarek.com's website um, and on the website at MarcoSarek.com. And that's M-A-R-K-O-S-A-R-I-C for those who are on the are listening in. Um, and so it's talks about domain name and it compares domain name on both sides of these two categories, whether left it's blogger and right it's WordPress. And on the left, it says you get a domain name that says your name dot blogspot dot com for free. All right. I know that everybody can sign up for that easily. And then it says you can also pre-register a domain name with them. So you can go buy a domain name and you can pre-register a domain name, whatever. <clears throat> now, or you can use your pre-registered domain, domain name if you already have one. Now, when it comes to WordPress, that's a whole nother beast. You buy the domain name and that's why for me, I have all Amazon text so that I can go ahead and buy domain, domain names for a cheaper rate. It says $13 per year here and that's, 
I think thirteen to eighteen dollars is about right for domains today. I attempt to keep mine a little bit less, and I also offer discounts to those who are in our group sessions for their domains, their where their hosting servers, anything like that. So if you're listening to this on Facebook Live, just know if you want a discount, hit me up in the box, and I'll make sure I'll give you a discount or I send you one of my discount coupon receipts. If that's if you're looking for a domain name, that's if you're looking for a server, uh, or a WordPress server, that's if you're looking for a website security, SSL certificates, all of those I can definitely provide through Amzotech or deals.amzotech.com. That's where I would send you. And once you'd have an account, I can actually, because my members, all my members will be getting a discount. The rates will be different once I know that you're a member of deals.amzotech.com for you. If I don't know if you're a member, I mean, it's not automatic because, you know, these are separate entity, entities. I rent my server from someone else. So now, I could actually write some code for it, but uh, I'm, I'm not there yet. It's not that serious just yet. So, okay. Now, when we talk about storage space, storage space is important as well when you talk about your website because you're going to have content that you're delivering from your website that you want to store there. And then I also still recommend getting an Amazon AWS server outside and uploading content to, to it, which I've been terrible about using. I haven't used it either the way I should so, I mean, it's just the way it is sometimes. But, you know, when it comes to storage space, it becomes a little bit challenging when you start to fill up that WordPress website with content over and over again, especially if you start aggregating other feeds. If you're aggregating other feeds onto your WordPress website, it's going to fill up so fast that you're not going to want to do, know what to do. And you're going to have to crash the website or delete the website and restart over with a new um, WordPress uh, um, operating system. So now when it comes to storage space, you get one gigabyte of free space on Blogger. Uh, it can be connected back in the day. They used to be connected to Google Plus, which is, we know is Ixnade. So now that uh, Google Plus was 86, it's pretty much, you're still getting the free space, but you don't have that integration to uh, feed to a blog roll that would make it lighter to when you feed to a blog roll or make your stream lighter when you feed to a blog roll. And then I, I'm guessing that's the only reason why they would have mentioned Google Plus because it's going to pump faster when, when they click the video from Google Plus because it came through your blogger. I don't know. I, I can't see. Or maybe it's because you can use Google Plus to share to in general. I don't know. Uh, but... It says you need a host for storage space, which we talked about that before. If you're on the WordPress side, do you need a host? And if you need a host, that could be anywhere from four to five to ten dollars a month, depending on the host that you want and, and how you want to serve your files. So I once again, we offer that at deals.amzotech and I can make sure that you at least get close to cost for whatever we pay to get to acquire that ability to serve these servers to you. So then let's get into custom. Actually, before we get into customize, I think it's important to take a look at what one of the things that, um, one of the modules and we can just transform it. We have this fully customized, customizable ability. And with that fully customizability, it allows us to use software like Divi and for me, if you like, don't know what Divi is, it's a product made by Elegant Themes. And Divi by Elegant Themes gives you this opportunity to make these beautiful layouts, uh, beautiful designs without having to know that much about coding. You can know the basics about using WordPress and about using a little bit of HTML. And Divi will allow you to move uh, different sections, move different uh, different tools and, and layers around on your website. And what's brilliant about that is that if you really don't know anything about it, you can use the front end and of your website to edit with Divi. And the Divi Builder is something Elegant Themes um, has created a while ago, but it is just starting to gain its popularity. And it's really, really, really like making magic for your website. So if you're interested in getting the Divi Builder, 
make sure you go to elegantthemes.com or click the link in the description below if you're on YouTube. If you're on Facebook, definitely go to docreo.com, D-O-C-R-E-O.com. And if you're in the Facebook Live group, you already know where my website is. There's a Divi link somewhere on the website. You can go ahead and pick it up. Or you can go to elegantthemes.com. That's elegantthemes.com. So with that being said, let's get back to customization. All right. Now, when we talk about customization for the uh, blogger, it's really, really limited. Uh, blogger customization it has these templates um, has these layouts that put things in a certain place for you. And there's a difference but when you talk about customization and uh, design. And we're going to talk a little bit more about design in a minute. But when we talk about templates, it's more about the actual structure of your website, the structure of your blog. And so since the blog is limited to a certain amount of structural preferences that they have laid out on blogger you can only do a few limited advanced customizations and then you don't even have any ftp access that's just terrible but if you look on the other side at wordpress you get full control and full freedom and with that full control and full freedom you're able to modify and customize your website as you wish with different plugins, different modules. You can even use the Divi Builder that I was just talking about, which if you're on WordPress.com, if you paid to be on WordPress.com, there are a few limitations in that and you will not be able to use the Divi Builder unless you raise your account to a certain level. So it costs you more money to use the Divi Builder. But if you purchase like a domain and a WordPress hosting account from deals.amseltech.com that's d-e-a-l-s dot a-m-s-l-t-e-c-h dot com deals.amseltech deals dot nah, I can't even talk right now deals.amseltech.com and I don't know why I was getting tongue tied probably because I need a little water hold on for just a second folks try to do it without having to stop and take a drink Ooh. but sometimes you just can't help it ah and why is my nose itching? Ooh, nose is itching. I've been over here scratching. You can probably hear my hands scratching against my face. I've been scratching my face, trying to figure out why my nose is itching like, like I got a nose ring in and I don't have my nose ring in. <laughs> oh, that is so funny. But back to design. All right, customization and design kind of go hand in hand. And because you have limited advanced customization features on blogger you also have limited design selection so that's the design palettes more or less the color schemes the layout the 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 uh font layouts though that's the design size and the structure the customization is where things are being placed on the page all right so with blogger you got some drag and drop stuff but it's very 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 limited very limited with WordPress you have I, the world is at your own hands especially with the thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of freaking I want to say there's even more there's even more plugins than than are listed on the WordPress plugin site I know that because I bought I I've purchased a few from different websites that are not wordpress.org so Speaking of plugins, uh, there are no plugins available on Blogger. That's the next one we're going to talk about here. There's a there's a a few gadgets. Uh, it says a few gadgets. I'm gonna say a few widgets that you can use, but there are no plugins that really can lay out a website like you can with WordPress if you know how to code or if you have a great theme template that allows you to move things around like the Divi Builder template or the Divi template. Now, next is next is with that. Oh, it also says uh, WordPress has thousands of plugins and you can add any feature or any functionality pretty much that you wish that you wish if you if like I said if you can program you can make it happen so now the next thing is monetization now this is where blogger has like really the upper hand and 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 I want y'all to know this is important this is all about finding out which one is better for you 
I may lean towards WordPress because I like a little bit more control. I'm a little bit of a control freak, so I like to control things. So um, when it comes to my website, especially, so when it comes to get starting out i started out using a blogger too i started out where i didn't want to have all that control i just threw up a blogger because it's been around for a long time i have copywritten stuff on there and even though that they own my content it's copywritten so it's kind of a redundancy system there they can use it without my permission is what's basically going on so just like facebook and just like instagram and just like twitter you know we put our content out there we read the terms of service right right I hope you do. So I'm nodding my head up and down for those who can't see me. I've been going right, right, nodding my head up and down. So, you know, um, I'm hoping that we are all out there reading and and, and, and sca scavenging through this stuff and trying to really understand this a little bit more. So when you talk about monetization for Blogger, it's automatically connected to Google AdSense. So you're already going to get ads sent to your blog site, but you don't get to pick those ads. You don't have any choices where as in monetizing on WordPress, you have the complete control over all your ads and when you want them to come out, how you want them to come out, how you want to display your, your broadcasting scenarios, uh, everything, everything you have complete control. So I, I like that. Like I said before, I like the comp complete control and it tends to get me inspired to do more work with it. Uh, now he goes on in step three to say, uh, how to install self-hosted word ho hosted WordPress. Uh, we can get into that, that another time, which is better blogger or WordPress, a detailed look. All right, here's one. All right. Control and ownership, renting a house versus owning a home. I mean, it's not. I don't know if I want to use that example. And I think that example is kind of wrong because when you think about renting a house versus owning a home in this particular economy, it was better for you to rent a house. Why you invest in owning some multifamily properties? You know, I, so it depends on your situation. But the, the, the concept I see what they're talking about is giving your money away to somebody else or investing in something that is going to help bring you more financial gain and stability in the future. And that makes totally, that makes good, great. That makes sense to me. I didn't even know what I was going to say there. That makes sense to me. So, um, he, Marco digs in deeper to this, but when it comes to making money, I think that's the next one. When it comes to making money, uh, blogger has an upper hand on, a. Uh, on WordPress because bloggers connection to to Google uh, AdSense allows it allows you the easiest way or allows users the easiest way to get advertising or draw attention to themselves and I wonder if they're gonna shorten my photo when I leave I mean not when I leave but uh, when I'm when I'm done I don't even know what I was talking about I think I was talking about shortening the photo of, of uh, <laughs> Oh man, I just went off on a tangent thinking about something else and uh, 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 the full image because I was looking down at for making money and uh, I've left Blogger and uh, in leaving it, I actually decided to do another step, which I'm going to talk about in the next steps here, but I jumped ahead a little bit and that's why I said, I don't even know what I'm talking about because I was reading something and it came out of my mouth. So, uh, so let's, let's back up just a little bit because now that we've talked about which one is better, uh, Blogger or WordPress, and it's not whether or not which one is better. Like I said, which one is right for you? Uh, which one works best for you? Um, and the design features and the flexibility, um, we could talk about all that later, but I think WordPress versus Blogger pros and cons is the best spot to leave this at, okay? Um, Marco talks about the WordPress pros and cons, and he says, WordPress is a flexible solution. Basically, it's got lots of room to grow and, grow and expand. It's got full flexibility. It's got vast and bri bri vibrant community of developers. Love that, love that. I mean, there's so many people involved that there's so many apps out there and plugins out there for you to be able to use, test, 
and just critique too. You, I mean, you have a chance to critique those apps and help these developers get better. Um, there's a wide range of design templates like the Divi Builder. Um, there's a plugin for everything there, like the Divi Builder plugin. There's two different. You have the Divi Builder theme template and you have the Divi Builder plugin. Uh, the plugin is some of the workings, but the template takes over your whole website and you can redesign your whole website that way. The theme only allows you to really, uh, excuse me, the the uh, builder uh, plugin only really allows work on page post and uh, page post and blog post. So now when you manage your blog, you can manage it from anywhere using WordPress because there's several different tools to help you do that. And you can monetize your WordPress blog all kinds of ways. You can connect it to Google AdSense yourself. You can connect it to any device you need through a plugin. It's just as simple as that. So uh, blog, Blogger has a few pros. Eh. Those start with, it's a nice place to start your adventure. Um, your default URL is your name blogspot.com now I don't know if that's actually a pro or a con but actually having your domain name started out it's easier to get to people um, or for people to understand where you're uh, how to find you so then there's a template designer that makes things easy if you don't want to really dig into using and developing uh, developing scripting or developing design levels for your website you can always use one of the templates and just click, click, click. All right. Also, you can do HTML changes to it. If you really want to dig in a little bit, do like those people who dug into MySpace back in the day. I know who you are because I was there watching. So, you know, uh, those people right there. Uh, if you have any HTML experience and you want to make some minor changes, you can do that in Blogger. Uh, there's a number of decent amount of simple gadgets. They got a whole bunch of simple gadgets. And what that means now that they're, they, they're like, there was a decent amount of simple gadgets and integration with my Google allows to add a banner advertising and start making money. Thanks to Google. It's always easy to integrate analytics and search console. See it's integration analytics gets in search console go, gets in all these things get involved and it kind of convolutes the ability for anybody coming behind me to get to that level without maybe a little bit of scrutinization. So, you know, um, I, I just, I, I say that because if your theme isn't light enough for people to see, or it doesn't give you the look for people to see, or it isn't in front of people's face enough, if you're not getting a search result faster and you're having to pay $28 uh, acquisition, you know, it, it, it's going to wear and tear on you. It's going to hurt. And so next thing, <clears throat> WordPress cons. Your WordPress install needs a domain name and a server. Da, da, da. We already got that. You are responsible for managing the security of your backups. Right. Too many themes and plugin options demand a lot of time to do research and time to reflect ones for you. Uh, and then there is a medium sized learning curve to get used to, huh? Uh, to get used to, thanks to the many professional opportunities. All right, so I couldn't really read that. It was like, there is a medium sized learning curve to get used to thanks to the many professional opportunities. I don't know. It was just, it just seems written funny. But anyway, uh, blogger cons. Blogger cons, it's limited, outdated, and not future proof. That's that worry I was talking about, folks. And then you don't own your own content. And then you have a limited choice of the, all those design templates, and you have to have a Google account. So it, I think everybody today has either a Gmail or some kind of Google Docs uh, account or even a YouTube account. So it's not that big of a deal right there. But that's pretty much it. I'd still say it. I didn't. I got a lot more out of that, as far as understanding where I would want to be starting out now. I still would be want to be in front of the WordPress. I probably wouldn't have even started out using a blogger. Maybe post some side blog posts like I did the other day. But in general, I probably would have started with some kind of content management system. Actually, I did Joomla, and I really started digging into Joomla and Drupal. For a long time there but when it boiled down to 
the winner of the race, WordPress came out on top. And I know some people are having difficulty with security issues around their WordPress and all kinds of other things. I say always double check your passwords, always make sure they're getting rechecked. Always try to make sure you keep up with your accounts. And um, I don't know if I talked about this book just yet. Uh, before I got here, uh, I was really, 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 really having a, a struggle with what I wanted to talk about. I had all these ideas in my head. And then I had to back up. I had to back up for a reason because I, I sat down and I read a little bit about this book. This book by, um, this book by uh, Soul and, and Eisenhart is called Simple Rules. And it's an important book because it backs it up, backs me up to the idea that there are only a few simple rules of what we need to do to get things across to people or for me to get my point across to people or to convey a message. And so I suggest reading this just to remind us that we need to take simple steps sometimes instead of convoluting our ideas and stretching them out there. And so that's my tip for the day. So with that being said, the last but not least thing is I want to say is you're waiting to hear more about the 12 steps to media marketing, the, uh, the, What's going on with it? Oh, no. Wow. I didn't record the video. Wow, that's interesting. The video stopped or something else happened. But at least we got the audio. If you want to get involved with the 12 Steps to uh, Media Marketing series or the 12 Steps to Media Success, you can contact me. You can send me a message. Send me a Facebook message, Instagram message. Just contact me and let me know. Um, right now, we all of the memberships are closed once again, we have enough members right now in the group, and we have many of those members in the Facebook group with our other members already locked up because I am, not that I'm beta testing, but some of them people are beta testing with me until December, until we relaunch everything. And when we relaunch everything, well, actually January, I want to relaunch everything in January, um, but everyone's asking me to relaunch everything for Christmas, so we'll see how that goes. So with the relaunch, I want to make sure that everyone has an opportunity to know that this niche peaking um, step, this step of, of lessons, it's going to be step one, but this is just one actual course, niche peaking, that has eight modules. And in each module, there are eight steps for your members to accomplish. Once those members accomplish those steps, you will have understood every which way you need to know to pick your niche, not lock your niche in and get them, you know, get, get engagement, you know, lock in and get engagement with them. So I, I want to stress that so much. The next lesson, we've already gone to module five. The next module is uh, module six lead generation for massive engagement and audience building we're gonna check that out uh should be tomorrow i should be releasing that either tomorrow or monday and uh pretty much we have two more modules in this step so if you like what you've been hearing if you like what you're listening to feel free feel free to click the like button below actually matter of fact if you don't like if you're watching this on facebook you can click the like button but if you don't like it and you're watching the replay on youtube you're watching it and you're like oh i don't like that just click on and click the thumbs down but if you really like it go ahead and click a thumbs up because you know we like the thumbs up out there and if you got something to say you want to share love the comments you know you all are helping me learn what i need to share with you and if you really 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 want to keep up with doc rio tv on youtube or uh, you want to keep up with doc rio tv you can message us or you can click the subscribe link below on youtube folks if you're on youtube click the subscribe link below and i'm sure now that if you're watching this on youtube you're only going to get a picture of the screen because for some reason the video did not record. Sometimes that's going to happen, folks, and I know I promise that I'm going to attempt to make sure you have video with every single, every single recording. But this time, without further ado, folks, this is Doc. I'm headed out of here. Oh, yeah. And if you do really, really want to subscribe to us on YouTube, click that subscribe button below. But don't forget to click the notification bell so you can get those notifications on when the next videos are coming out. And I thank you all for listening. I thank you for coming by, spending your time with me. I really appreciate that. Mm. Deuces out to everybody. This is Doc. Stay tuned for the Doc Real Roll because I'm out of here. Peace. There it is. If you need to reach us on Facebook, it's at Doc Rio, yeah. 
on Twitter at Doc Real Ran. On Instagram, the pics away. And every time I come, I'm here to stay. Snapping photos and get it right. It's at Doc Rio tonight. Say, on YouTube, you can stop by Doc Rio TV. That's where you see me. That's where you see me. I hit us up on Rio Bucks. Die come. Yeah, 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 yeah. Back to your regularly scheduled program now. Peace. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Real TV.